Oh, Zeus. I was getting a pretty good shot here, buddy. <laughs> of course, these little flowers are they're so nice looking just up here. I mean, the whole yard is... Thanks, Zeus, for getting in the way. Just covered in them. There, 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 over there, lots over there, and there. But boy, these ones were just glowing in the sun. So, the other side of the house you guys have probably never been on. Kind of uh, overgrown. Anyhow, moving on. Piles of dandelions back here. See? A little bit of overgrown grass. Dandelions. As if you guys care. <laughs> All right, let's get on with things. See you back there. Okay, everybody, we are working with this guy. He's doing great on this beautiful morning. He's been um, really coming along nicely. I actually was able to hop on him just for a very short minute or two yesterday <laughs> oh. let's catch them put them in the arena let them roll and then uh, get them back so I'm gonna put you guys offline for a second and we'll be back <laughs> You're a little close. Maybe I could have done this with the camera in my hand. Well, anyways, got him. Caught this tiger. Hopefully he doesn't run me over on the way out here. He's so calm, such a nice horse. I'm gonna stick him in the arena briefly. Before That's Lena, by the way, making all that noise. Lena, why are you so noisy? She's, uh, she's got to be the, the best greeter around. I mean, you go in or out of a place and there's Lena chitty chatting away. Oh, you went a little far. A little bit far, I don't like that. Oh, okay, okay. You ready? Come here, good boy. Later, gator. I'm gonna take off. Once in a while, when I know a horse is pretty good with coming off of a halter, I'll let them sort of walk off like that. But uh, he has to graduate to that. Let me just close the gate here. Lena's still going. Look at those two. Can we come out too? In a bit. There, see, one thing um, I find I missed, and I didn't, don't mean it as in miss, as, gee, I really missed that, but holy crap, I missed that, is um, before doing anything here, before I would do anything with a horse, I want to make sure they've got food in their belly. So if they've run out of hay, I make sure I give them some. If they're really edgy, I'll actually give them a little extra. And when I come into the arena, I go let them roll. Uh, it's, it's instinctual for them. And so they'll, they'll inherently want to do it. Is it a habit? Is it a good habit? Yeah, I think it's okay. Makes them feel good. Makes them feel comfortable. It also allows them to make it feel like it's their own space because they leave a lot of scent on the ground. You'll notice when horses um, roll, another horse will come over and roll right on top of that. So it helps them feel a little bit more at home, I think. So psychologically, I think it's a good thing. Ah, you again. Hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. That's it. He says there's something back there. 
Okay, well here comes my horsey. He says I'm ready to play. Cool. Look at him move. He's such a nice looking boy. He stopped. What's going on up there? I think it's the neighbor. Oh, he's coming. Hey buddy. You need to roll again or what? Because it's really only a few extra minutes. Hey, it gets a little more comfy. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere. Uh, maybe here, right there, or there. I don't know. And uh, we'll get started, we're gonna saddle them and ride them. A little, just a little. He needs a lot more muscle, so I don't really wanna push him. I got lots of time. Do that. The only yours is scratch on you people, unless they're really good about it. But I'm not his grooming post, so I caught him. I'm gonna saddle him. Uh, I wanted to quickly kind of say a couple of quick things before I get on with this. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with him, and uh, I built up a lot of a lot of trust, I guess you could say. You know, he. He's very good at just sort of hanging out with me, relaxed. His head sort of stays low and to me, which is nice. If I want to pick up his feet, he's pretty good about it. I just lift him up slowly. You know. Very giving. Very giving and relaxed. You'll see his head doesn't go up, he doesn't get jacked up and, and stuff like that. So I'm depending on that as sort of the, uh, the barometer of whether or not than I do with most horses, of whether or not they're freaked out or worried. Um, so, let's get started. <laughs> I'm starting out at a good place. He's chill, he's relaxed, he's had himself a little roll. He's uh, well fed and it's quiet here. So, um, I don't know his exact history for, uh, I mean, because you can never really know, it's not that I haven't heard about stuff, um, but I understand that his his last experience when riding uh, wasn't a good one. So we're hoping to give him lots more last experiences that are good, and we'll build on that to get something really good. Right? Okay. Pretty chill. Okay, let's get going. I'm gonna saddle him over this way, so I'll just turn you guys around. You're on a barrel. That should be pretty good. Don't hit the camera. Hi Zeus. Move the way.
Okay, that was nice. There's only one tiny little swish of a tail that I saw or noticed uh, when I went to uh, tighten up the cinch. Which I need to do some more. <laughs> hey man, you're, you're in the way. Anyhow, so I'm going to do that pretty quick here and get them to go up to the go up to the mounting block that's a lot of hair and we'll get started this may be not this might might not last long this might be a little shorter than you guys are expecting but I'm really just looking to build and I'm doing this in high frequency uh, low amount of time it's just I think a good idea I know. <sighs> okay, I'm going to move you guys this way now. Hopefully that's set up okay. Okay, so actually let's talk about what's happening here. Let's get a little more height on that. Something like that. Okay, back up. In my way. Okay, coming around. Um, let's see if I'm framed up okay for you guys. Now, um, it's pretty relaxed, pretty chill, but I still want to make sure before I get on, I usually do this with, well, just about any horse, especially a new horse to me. Um, I'll see if I can move them and turn them and move their back end and back them up. So we'll just go out this way a little bit. Oh, that was close. You had me worried. Come on. Okay, so change of plans a little bit. And this is what a training session kind of look. Training session, education session, acclimating session, whatever you want to call these things. Um, looks like where you, you have a goal. So right, so maybe you're starting here and you have a goal somewhere here. <laughs> Go for a ride, a little ride. And uh, along the way, you're checking stuff out. You know, is he chilled out? Does he move his tail? When I ask him to go, does he swish his tail? Does his head come up? Um, do his feet get stuck? All of these things matter. If they happen on the ground, they'll happen in the saddle. And when they happen in the saddle, they're worse than they're ever on the ground. So catch the stuff on the ground. Don't do it in the saddle if you don't have to. 
Why would you? You just get hurt. Maybe. So, uh, he's having trouble. I wanted to talk about this stairs and barrel trick that I sometimes use. I know. And, um, because sometimes you'll bring a horse up to some stairs and they'll want to swing their butt around and all that kind of stuff. Um, it usually means they're just trying to be evasive. And so, if you put something on one side, you, and a barrel on the other side, some other weird scary thing, um, they got to kind of come through straight. And one day you're going to want to do that in the saddle anyways. You want to go through a gate or you want to pass by a barrel or something. And they'll just freak out and they won't know what to do with themselves. Uh, so you might as well just acclimate them to it now. So we're going to work just a little bit more on the ground here. I already know he can do it because I've already done this. Um, but maybe he forgot. So we'll just see if I can end off where I ended off last time. And maybe next time he'll start off where he ended off. Hey. Okay, we're gonna go a little more. Not that fast. Come on. I know, I know. There's bugs everywhere. Come on. Very good. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, you cheated. that much. Good. Just one. Good. Now back up. Now forward. Now back up. Now forward. Yeah. You're a good boy. Okay, so this little exercise is about whether or not they'll rush you. Um, and knock you over for that matter. I did a video a little... Hey, stop moving. Back up. I did a little a, a video a little while back uh, with baby that was here, and uh, whether or not she'd run me over trying to get across the ditch. Well, stuff like this is exactly the same. They might get themselves pretty worried and think that they need to just pile on through. Unfortunately, you're in the way, right? So you might get run over and hurt. So these kinds of things are great practice where it's a quiet, calm, slightly noisy environment. And um, you can stop them, hopefully. And if you can't, you have space to get out of the way, but you'd like not to. So it's a great place to practice because you don't want your horse running you over. Um, and we're practicing mounting. So that's a good thing. Still pretty chill. Okay, I'm gonna, I think I've got them pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with what I've got. I'll build on that. Um, 
but I can't get him to go forward and backwards and he doesn't run me over. He is a little worried, but he shouldn't be. He's done this 50, 60 times, so. Okay, I think I might move you guys just a little. Okay, a slight shift. Let's get started. Okay, come here. Stop walking through. Not my goal to have him walk through a bunch of times. There. Now he's listening a bit better. His head comes down. I'm happy with that. Moving his mouth. That's a good thing. When their mouth gets super tight, ah, you're usually in trouble. Always try to pet them all over. If you have any trouble with anything, don't get on. It's not worth it. I'm watching for the head and the tail. And the feet. He shouldn't move. There he moved. I gotta put him back. But he has great groundwork skills. So, oh, not there. Nice. Just like on the ground, a little for, a little forward, a little back. I'm gonna need this stuff in the saddle anyways. I'll see if he gets worried. He's a little worried. I'll pet him. Before he can move his own feet, I'll move them for him. Because he's not that happy yet. Aye. He's not a fan of people being above him. So we spent a lot of time doing that. Lots of time. Yeah. All right, come on. Now I'd like him to come up both sides. So I'm going to lead him up slow. I'd say that's pretty good. Rub them and pet them. Lots. Here. Come here. Right here. Come on. Hey. Oh, you're in trouble now. You're in big trouble. <laughs> I know, it's a big deal. It's an uncomfortable business. I know. It's 
still shedding a little. Right there. That's a nice spot to stand. So you can probably see that he's, hey, a little quick. You can probably see he's not as, not as strong as we'd like him to be. He's still checking out his balance with somebody on his back. You have to be very careful about that stuff. Um, it's hard. It's no different than sticking a kid or even an adult on your back and trying to walk around. You, you know, you're, you're kind of doing this and so are they. Um, so one of the things that, a beginner horse rider will struggle most with, uh, or the horse will struggle with a beginner horse rider, is keeping them on their back. Um, horses hate it when you fall off, it scares them. Right, that's scary stuff. They don't want that. Okay, come around. This way. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This way. Good boy. God. I know, you're a good boy. He's moving. Ugh. You never know what you should should try. Alright? Give you a big hug. It's all good exercise. So that's pretty snuggly close. But it's not quite right. That's a little better. <clears throat> of course you have to poop. Every time. Well then. I don't think you can practice enough getting on and off a horse. If you spent just the day working on getting on your horse and off your horse, you'd be so much better. Maybe, I mean, not you, like you, you, but you as an audience. Getting on soft, getting off carefully. And keeping balanced. Oop, go backwards. I'll do. Oh, oh well, all right. And both sides.
All right, well, we might as well move off a little. Seems like it's doing okay. But I'm actually gonna move backwards. Um, I don't really want forwards too much yet. I want him to know he can move his feet, but maybe just mostly backwards. He's a little worried, so I might try one more time. Or we'll see. That's good. Very, very light. But his head's high, I don't like that. So I'll reassure him. Right? See, you're okay. There's no trouble here. We'll walk him out a little. Move his feet. You know? It's like the ability to just sort of take a breath. You're like, okay. I'm not in a rush. See, the deal is, is that I have the time for this. So, I don't have to get him worried. I can get him a little worried and get out. Get a little worried, get out. I'll get him a lot worried on the ground. I don't need to get him a lot worried in the saddle. Right? Okay. Come around your poop. I don't want mushed poop. No. Man, I thought you were going to make it. forward. Not bad. I'm going to try again.
you stuck with it. That's hard work. All right. It's a little worried. That's okay. Let's go back to the groundwork a little. Try the other side. Come here. Okay, so I'm going to end his riding today, or this session, here. And I'm going to explain why. Um, he's super sensitive. I expect it's not because of his breed or any of that stuff, even though it counts. You know, some breeds are less sensitive. But more than that, he's just really super sensitive. And he's also off balance. He's not comfortable. <clears throat> so it's actually a lot of work for me to ride like that because I have to keep my balance a lot which takes my mind off of other things that I'd like to get to. And to me, it shows some gaps in what I've worked on with him. For him to get worried when I just pull back a little, um, tells me a lot. So if I try this on the ground, you know, it should be clean. So I already know in my mind where I think I want to continue with him before I try again. But it was successful. Uh, nobody fell off and nobody freaked out and he didn't buck and he didn't do anything weird. That's a successful short three rides. Three, two, anyways. So I'm gonna let him go, let him roll again, put him back, get to the next horse. I'll be back to him later today. Try again. But he's relaxed right now. I'm not leaving him in a worried state at all. He's pretty chill. Hey, <laughs> maybe you're too chill. What do you think? So it worries him. I don't like that. I'd like him to be happy. Okay, uh, thanks for watching this one so far. Hopefully it's been interesting. Maybe it's a different different thing to do. But there's some psychological stuff I need to ca uh, ha uh, get on with uh, before I continue that. So that I can get some really reliable, soft, normal backing up. Because they got to move their feet when they're worried. So if you have them a little worried, just move their feet around. Go from there. Okay. See you guys again soon.